Hi, this is Bill Ouellette, and today we're going to be talking about Total Addressable Market. Amanda came to MIT because she wanted to start a technology company. I often call her the world's most interesting woman because she is. She's never graduated from high school. She speaks fluent Russian. She's a concert pianist, a programmer, and a graphic designer. So during her first year, she spent a lot of time exploring different ideas. But more importantly than the ideas, Amanda found a group of fellow students that she loved working with and who complemented each other very well. When you see Amanda working with Andrew, Rohit, Daipan, you can just feel the energy. This is really, really important. When you're going to find someone to work with, they should be what we call energy amplifiers. They should give you more energy and you have great trust and confidence in them. What we've done is we've created an auto-scheduling platform. And by auto-scheduling, I mean that the, the general process of how people set up meetings or social engagements is currently done through email back and forth that can be long and exhaustive and just unnecessary. So what we've done is we've created a product and mobile application that can essentially streamline this process down to a couple of clicks of a button. So all it is is the process you enter the person you want to meet with and a date range and a place and the platform that we've built, Time, will find the best time for everyone to meet. Our team is composed of members from all over the MIT community, ranging from course two, mechanical engineering, to course six, computer science, electrical engineering, to management, course 15. And um, somehow everyone could relate to this particular problem because it is experienced everywhere in every corner and in every industry. And I think that all the members of our team were able to get very excited and very passionate about solving it because the pain is <laughs> real to everybody, no matter what walk of life you are from. I think the most acute, um, acute scheduling problem I've encountered was first semester at, at MBA. Uh, we have these core teams, which are a group of seven MBA students that you put together with for the entire semester. So literally, we take uh, five, six classes together. Okay, um, and we we try to find time during the week to meet, and it always end up being that six of us would finalize a time, and then the seventh person would say, "Actually, guys, uh, I can't make it during that time. Can we try something else?" And then we have to go through the entire process of rescheduling all over again. And it was always these long email chains. It was always this back and forth conversation because none of us were in the same room. So it became this really big problem where I found myself spending a lot of time, like 30 minutes, just trying to schedule one meeting. At first, we started talking to our friends to really understand how are they scheduling? Because we know our own scheduling habits well enough, but we wanted to see if that actually translates to what other people are doing. And first, we talked to our friends. We asked, hey, do you know anyone else who just hates scheduling or hates dealing with that process or who's paying somebody else to do their scheduling and we, we talk to them to find out what they're doing. From a user behavior standpoint, this problem is difficult for two main reasons. One, people's calendars need to be online and two, they need to keep them up to date. From a technology standpoint, I think uh, scheduling problem is a fairly complicated problem. It has a lot of aspects to it. Uh, more than that, the, just at, a, at an abstract level, uh, the fact that it has to be fast enough so that people don't have to wait while they're changing parameters is a really difficult problem. And uh, the other aspect of this problem is that uh, uh, it has to be as user-friendly as possible. So the user interface and user experience has to be so enriching that people just love it, which is, uh, again, a user experience research problem that, uh, that has been uh, uh, one of the things that we are trying to tackle. I think with the proliferation of mobile devices and also with the integration of them into our everyday lives, we've become so dependent on these devices. And yet, we notice that the majority of people still do their scheduling on their computer or their laptop or desktop computer. And the reason for that is because it's a very uncomfortable process to do the scheduling on their mobile phones. So actually, while this presents a unique challenge because there's many different platforms and many different operating systems now available for mobile phones, that actually, to us, we looked at it as a tremendous opportunity because we would be able to perhaps be the first and maybe have a first mover advantage by going mobile first. So now, put yourself in Amanda's shoes. How would you find out how big the market is for your idea? Here today, we'll address this very question. Specifically, you'll learn, first of all, the concept of total addressable market, or what we call TAM, and why it's so important. Secondly, 
you'll learn how to estimate TAM and more importantly, how not to estimate TAM. Thirdly, and in what range should your TAM be for the beachhead market? What's too big? What's too small?